Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we are getting ready to cook it up. So let's get into this quick, easy meal. Now, this is something that I have been craving all week, so I'm going to go ahead and cook it. I have been craving steak and steak fries. Gotta be steak fries. I don't know. That's just what I've been craving. So, alright, let me show you guys my steak. Now, I took my steak and I sliced it up into a little nice steak chunk, chunky strips, however. But let me show y'all what they looking like. Like little thick steak strips. That's what I did. I had a nice big uh, steak and I just chopped it up, you know, sliced it up like this. Some of them are a little small, but most of them are big like this. See, I just cut it up like that. Let me wash my hands. And um, yeah, we ready. So I'm moving quickly with this meal to show y'all how quick and easy it is. Such a delicate meal, just excellent. Delicate, I'm sorry. Such an elegant, let me correct myself. Such an elegant meal. And um, yeah, quick and easy guys. Steak and steak fries. All right, let's go. Cause I'm going over here to my air fryer, which is already, already. Yes, boo boo. I got the air fryer ready. We cooking this steak and fries in the air fryer, boo. Yes, we are. So the first thing I want to cook though, I want to cook my fries first because I know the fries won't take long at all in the air fryer. Maybe about steak fries are a little thicker, so they will take a little longer. Um, show you guys my steak fries. I love steak fries and these are the public steak fries. I love these. They're so good. They're nice and thick and they be nice and long. So I've already got my aluminum foil in my air fryer and I've got it sprayed with my, my old faithful canola oil guys. Remember, use your oil. Your oil helps the food cook. So I'm going to get these fries down in here and remember they're steak fries so they're thicker. And um, so they'll take a little longer to cook than the regular fries. So, but that's fine. Get these thick fries picked out here. I'll move the smaller ones out. I really want to get the big, big steak fries. And I'm going to get them laid out flat. I don't want these on top of each other because they're just way too thick. You, you don't even want to. You don't even want to do that with the air fryer. And I know how my air fryer cooks. So, I'm picking out all the thick steak fries. I'm leaving like the little ones in there. So, I'm going to get these all laid out. And I will make about two batches. Because the steak fries, they're thicker. So, they take up more room. So, you're not going to be able to cook as many as you would with the regular fries. And you want to make sure your steak fries get cooked properly. So, See if I can squeeze one more big one in there. <clears throat> All right, so got our first batch of steak fries. Let me wash my hands. We got that first batch of steak fries in there. Y'all can see. Uh oh, let me bring y'all over. Got our first batch of steak fries, and we are going to spray our fries. <clears throat> Once again, the oil helps your food cook. Helps your food cook. Helps with the cooking process. All right, so got our air fryer over here. Let's go ahead and get them in here. And y'all see Emma Lagasse, my air fryer Emma Lagasse. I thank God I'm blessed with two air fryers. I did have a third one, um, but I uh, blessed somebody with it. But um, yeah, I, no, three air fryers that's ridiculous. That's just too much. But y'all know I'm a couponer and I had accumulated so many rewards uh, at CVS. Uh, yeah, I did make a video on that. Anyway, so let's get into this. Get back to this cooking. So we're going to go ahead. My Emeril Lagasse automatically sets himself at 370 for 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and let him do his thing. Uh, I'll come back in about 10 minutes to check on the, the steak fries. So first thing I'm cooking is the steak fries because I know it's not going to take long for these to cook. So 
and also I'm using the air fryer for the steak because in the air fryer I'm telling you if you've never had air fried steak oh my goodness amazing it's so good and the air fryer makes it taste so good and roasted and juicy it holds in the moisture it doesn't dry your steak out make it all rough and rubbery I'm telling y'all oh yeah and the only thing I put on my um steak I put some tenderizer some um all-purpose season you know that's the one with all everything in it I did a little onion garlic some parsley of course yeah and um, yeah just kept it simple just kept it simple I ain't want to do too much with the steak so that's what I did with the steak and we're gonna have steak and fries I'm so excited because I'm telling y'all I'm craving it all week all right y'all enough of me talking so let's go ahead at these fries cook um, I will be back to show you guys the fries once they're done and then we'll move on to the steak all right, I just took the fries out the air fryer and they were in there the full 15 minutes. Like I said, because um, steak fries, they're thicker. So, you know, they take a little longer, but you know what? My regular fries take about 10 to 15 minutes too. So I can flip these over, but I don't have to with the steak fries. I mean, these look like they're cooked on both sides. Kind of move them around a little bit. They are hot and you guys can see how they cooked up. Let me take you guys down in there. They cooked up really good, nice and brown. So, and that's 15 minutes. 15 minutes there, guys. Hold on a second. Let me get y'all right so y'all can see down in there. Yeah, nice 15 minutes. Um, I could cook them a little longer to make them a little browner, but I don't want to do that because they're already cooked good enough. I think I'm going to flip them over and probably cook them for like another five minutes. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that because they're still a little soft. So, um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and cook them for like another five minutes, guys. Okay, so I put the steak fries in for five more minutes and they look good. They look really nice, all nice and brown and cooked up real good. So, that was about 15 minutes. I flipped them over uh, and then cooked them for another five minutes. Steak fries take longer because they're thicker. So, let's go ahead. Let's move on to the steaks. I'll be back to show you guys. Um, how I'm gonna put the steak in here and air fry the steaks All right, I am back and I put my steak in the air fryer for 15 minutes 15 minutes in the air fryer and I flipped it over and I cooked it for another five minutes um, And I also, you know poked it with my knife to make sure it was cooked all the way through and Look at the air fry steak. It's so good and I like cutting it this way. Let me bring it in so y'all can get a real close look at that steak. Bring it in for y'all. Hold on one second. I'm going to zoom y'all into that steak. So y'all can get a good look at all that goodness. I'm telling you, there's nothing like air fried steak. It keeps it nice and moist and juicy, holds in the flavors. Look at that goodness. And it's dripping because it keeps the juiciness for you. I got to take y'all in. Look at that. Look at that juiciness. Amazing. Woo, it's dripping. Make sure I'm holding it over the pan thing. Well, all right, y'all. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Let me put the put this steak back down. Put it back down in there. Let me y'all seen the steak, the air fried steak. It is juicy and delicious. Showed y'all the air fried steak. Let me bring those steak fries in for y'all to see. They all cooked up all nice and golden brown. They are ready. Steak and fries. That's what I've been craving all week. Steak and fries, guys. All right, you seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge, oh yes, is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.